Lizzie at actoutgames.com here, and today I'm going to be doing the Dear Me. So when you're hearing this, the Dear Me sounds kind of weird before you comment about it, listen. It sounds kind of weird because I'm almost 10. What do I have to say to myself 10 years ago? Be born? Yeah, that's what I have to say to myself 10 years ago. But I'm gonna spice it up a little bit and talk to myself 10 years in the future or in the future in general. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I want to be happening in the future and what I don't want to be happening in the future. Never listen to the haters. At no point in my life, just me, don't listen to the haters, ever. They're just trying to get your attention. There might be something going bad in their lives that makes them want to tear you down or they're just trolling you to see what responses they can get. Don't listen to them. If it gets too bad, just delete the comments and block them from commenting on the videos. If it, That's just all you have to do. I know the haters can drive you down and that's what they're trying to do. Don't let them do it. Um, another thing is be yourself. No matter how much it takes, be always be yourself. If your friend try and make you more like them, then they're not real friends. They're not your friends. You, the, you are, need to surround yourself with people that trust you and that let you be yourself. You don't have to change your, if you have to change your personality to be with your friends, then they're probably not very good friends. You need to be with your friends and be able to be yourself with your friends. And that's how you're gonna make friends, is you're gonna be yourself and you might attract some people that like your personality and then from then on you'll be friends. So, just always be yourself and always express what you like. I know people may not like what you like and they'll be rude to you and stuff about about it. Like if you take a liking in something that no one real else really loves, then they'll think you're weird and stuff. It doesn't matter. I take weird as a compliment now because I am weird and I like and I embrace my weirdness. I love being weird. I love being random. I love being quirky. I can say something really random at the spot of my head, and that's one of the things that helps me sometimes when I'm do when I'm doing like you have one minute to come up with a skit. That's one of the things. That's one of my advantages is I'm quick to come up with stuff. I'm quick to come up with names sometimes. Um, I'm quick to come up with ridiculous names. And I'm quick to come up with things, and even if they're not perfect on the first try, it doesn't. Don't worry, it's just a fun thing to do. If you're feeling pressured, it's just fun. If you're feeling pressured, because your cosplay isn't looking perfect. Cosplay is just fun. Everything is just fun. Life is not a competition. You want to have fun. You don't want to be the best. So I just want to make sure that I'm having fun in the future and I'm not being very pressured by everything around me and being really peer pressured and not being myself. I want to be myself and I want to be how who I am. And I'm not pressuring you either. If you're different from me in the future, I don't care. Just be yourself if I'm different in the future. Be your different self in the future. It doesn't matter. Just Whoever you are, however you act, be yourself. This isn't just a message for my future self. This is basically a message for everyone that's having problems at the time. Um, and I don't have, and the dear me stuff, I'm not doing something selfish like become a marine biologist or make good friends with blah, blah, blah. I'm just giving general advice that I want to live by because dear, doing a dear me thing to yourself in the future, doing a dear me to yourself in the past is really different because you're taught, you know what you went through in the past. But for me, it's gonna be hard because I have no idea what I went through in the future. I'm not a time traveler. Haven't met the doctor yet or anything. So I don't know what I'm going through in the future. So I hope this kind of prevents me from going through anything terrible or being really peer pressured at a point so I can just be myself and be free at myself. I hope that I'm, that's the main goal is just to be yourself. Like, like I said, I'm not doing this for selfish reasons. I always just want to, to always have this in my brain to remember the words that I live by. Be yourself and don't let the haters get to you. Those are the main things that I want to say to myself in the future and anyone in general. Those are thing, great things to live by and I felt a lot better since I started ignoring the haters and being myself. Another big piece of advice to myself is actually sort of stolen from my friend Johansson. Please don't kill me. It's, it's okay to be smart because some girls are 
act dumber because they feel like they shouldn't be the smart ones and they feel like boys should be the smart ones. That's not true. Be smart. Prove to the world that you're smart. And if someone doesn't believe you, prove it to them. If someone doesn't believe that you're smart just because you're a girl, prove it to them. Give them the hardest algebra problem you know and see if they can solve it and then let your brain solve it in a split second. <laughs> prove to them that you're smart and even though you're a girl, you can be smart. Um, there's also, there's kind of a song about this that I've been listening to recently. It's called Little Game and it's basically a song about gender roles. Don't let those get to you either. Um, don't just bat your eyes as it says in the song be you can be smart you can do sports you can well I don't I'm not a big fan of sports right now but if you like sports in the future go do sports if you're you're yeah of course you you're smart in the future because I'm smart now but um, if you're really into science stuff go do your science stuff go do whatever you want if it makes you happy do it so I hope in the future, if I'm feeling down or something, that I can just go back to this video and watch it, or maybe I can do a project where every time something good happens to you, you write it down and put it in a little jar. Whenever you're feeling sad, take one of those things out of the jar. I might, I'll start doing that and stuff, so I can make future me a better me, then, and stop worrying about, and stop really worrying about past me, and start focusing on present me and future me, and making sure they're good people, and not worrying on the stuff that happened in the past. That's more pieces of advice are just coming out of me. Don't worry about past you. Don't worry about me. Worry about you now and you in the future and make sure those are better people. Yeah, so don't let anything really get to you as long as you're yourself and as long as you're happy, then you're in the best place I can imagine. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye and bye future me. It's time to press subscribe button. Subscribe button. Subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe. Bye 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 bye.